Basically, a monkey from Chinese mythology infiltrates the DC universe. Let's go. It all started when a magical monkey popped out of a rock. Fearing death, he made his way into the heavenly realm to consume peaches of immortality and came into possession of his signature weapon. He became so powerful that Buddha himself had to sit him down. In exchange for his freedom, he agreed to escort a monk on a journey to the west to fetch some papers because all sorts of demons want to eat him to attain immortality. Then Darkseid invaded the heavenly realm, killing Red Boy's parents. Marcus becomes traumatized by a puddle of water because Batman is about to beat up his dad. The creepy school janitor burps onto him and he grows a tail. Marcus tries to wash it off but emerges as a monkey right in front of this girl. He gets the bright idea of picking a fight with his bully and that's when Batman appears out of thin air to take off his head. Meanwhile, Penguin releases a demon who turns him into a golden soul-sucking demon. The creepy janitor comes out as Master Pixie who screws his head back on for the great escape. His first lesson is to learn to transform and keep his emotions in check, or he might just revert into his human form without a head and that would be fatal. Perhaps pure counseling can help with that. Penguin can't seem to satiate his hunger, so he's told that by consuming a superhero he'll gain immortal power. Second lesson is cloud riding. Monkey Prince runs into Kaya again and agrees to find her brother to prove that he's a good guy. He rescues him from Robin and she immediately falls in love with him. Marcus's parents Laura and Winston work as henchmen for supervillains like Penguin, but they weren't expecting to get kidnapped by their boss. Monkey Prince reluctantly summons Robin to help locate his parents. Robin slices him in half so that he can escort his parents to safety. The other half prevents Penguin from draining the life out of Batman by knocking the demon out of him. Getting kidnapped by their boss wasn't a fun experience, so they sign a new contract with Black Manta. Marcus meets a creepy demon girl who strips him down to eat him alive. She tackles him into the water which triggers his PTSD, allowing her to retreat to her father, King of the Trench. He too is looking to apply for membership in the Immortal Power Club. Looks like there's been a change of plans. They're going to help Black Manta to release a demon. They transfer the Silver Demon into a Hermit Crab and Black Manta casually strolls across town the next morning. Nothing a soda pop and a spanking can't fix. They chase after the Silver Demon, but they're stopped by the Royal Guard. Somewhere in a neighboring neighborhood, a giant pillar sprouts from his eye. After a brief encounter with Aquaman, he slaps everybody and runs off to investigate a giant pillar. Just as Pixie suspected, it's a piece of the Monkey King's magical staff. The monkey gets benched and while he's flipping through the instruction manual, everybody gets in on the action. Black Manta inevitably escapes and Aquaman blames it on the water-breathing monkey. Monkey Prince finally takes command of the staff. Just like before, he knocks the Silver Demon out of the Trench King before he can suck the living soul out of Aquaman. Marcus knows the drill and he's already packed up, ready to leave for Metropolis. Elsewhere, the final boss King Firebowl isn't fully powered up just yet, so they break into LexCorp for a buffet of Bizarro clones. Laura is severely injured in the process. While Winston drives them to her father's lab, Jinx shows up to capture Pixie. Marcus catches the attention of Supergirl who does not look happy. And what do you know, it looks like his grandpa is ultra humanite. She actually meant to punch ultra humanite. Not my fault they both look similar. She's off to Metropolis to take cover from the mysterious Green Rain. She arrives to complete chaos and her powers aren't working properly. Monkey Prince tags along to try out his new hair into clones technique, but Kara's already called for backup. Meanwhile, Ultra Humanite plans to use the Phantom Zone projector to take over Monkey King's body. Monkey Prince catches them scavenging the Hall of Justice and Winston accidentally activates the projector. He finally meets his father and it's revealed that his origin story basically parallels that of Superman's except he's a magic monkey. Then he tells MP to fetch his master because only the monk can free him from the Phantom Zone. Then Ultra Humanite injects him with nanobots because he's evil. 
Following the events of Lazarus Planet, King Fireball is immediately released once again. The creepy trench lady decides to switch sides, and an army of skeletons captures SG. Monkey Prince is told a secret so shocking, he tumbles into an existential crisis. Pixie confirms that he's indeed a hare, and thus a clone of the Monkey King. But just believe you're real, and so he does. They rescue SG and trap the final boss back inside the gem. Hopefully, DC doesn't leave him to die like another wonderfully introduced hero.